Here we go, starting off CNC break number 11,243. We have the four years of diamond. 243. We've got a triple diamond rookie gems of Konstantin Pushkedov for the LA Kings. Double diamond of Ryan Miller for the Buffalo Sabres. Base. Triple diamond of Luongo for the Vancouver Canucks. So again, what I'll probably do is I'm going to do the monster after this one. Uh, I'll probably do two more of the SPX, or sorry, the uh, Black Diamonds. Mike Ribeiro for the Montreal Canadiens. And then I'll probably just do a few of the small ones to get those ones going. And then finish off with the other other ones. So. Uh, your Cena for the Boston Bruins, base jersey. So that way we can kind of have a bit of a breather in between of some different stuff to go. Patrick Thorson. For the Edmonton Oilers, triple diamond rookie gems. Base. We will get there. Double diamond for the Anaheim Ducks of Shiger. I have two packs there. Triple diamond of Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Dan Cluche for the Vancouver Canucks. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's the LA King one. Yeah, LA King Dan Cluche. And a lot of teams, a lot of people got traded that year, apparently. Dan Cluche. Double diamond of Alex Hemsky for the Oilers. But the easiest thing, folks, is let's get all the other breaks filled so I can just go right into it. Quad Diamond Rookie Gems, Shea Weber. Quad Diamond Rookie Gems, Shea Weber. The good news is almost every single break we've done, we've had some pretty good cards already. Triple Diamond Rookie Gems of uh, Keith Yandel. So we've got some really good names in these. We've gotten pretty lucky so far. If I can keep that up across all seven, I'll be very happy. Double diamond of Brad Boys for the Boston Bruins. We've got a quad diamond of Cam Neely for the Boston Bruins. Triple diamond of Foot of for the Calgary Flames. Lebes. The base. There's only four in this one. Boo. And we got the base. All right. So, well, we got the biggest one out of eight nine now. We got the stammer. Who's the next best in eight nine? Who's the next best in eight nine that we could aim for? Giroux probably, uh, well, wow, he's, I think, I think Giroux is a triple diamond, too. I don't even think he's a quad. I was going to say, he is in this, I'm pretty sure he's a triple. If I remember correctly. Triple diamond of Rick Nash for the Jackets. We've got a premier cuts of Patrick Eliash for the Devils. Double Diamond of Bo Coon for the Panthers. Quad Diamond of Mark andre Fleury for the Penguins. Now, so I'm curious who the next best is. Double Diamond of Kopitar for the LA Kings. We've got a Quad Jersey of Joe Mullen for the Calgary Flames. Mm 
base. Come on. Base. Double diamond of Jonathan Chichu for the Sharks. Base. We've got a triple diamond of Marion Gabrick for the Minnesota Wild. Man, some of these cards are very stuck together. I would say so, card man, yeah. Rookie Jams, triple diamond, I believe, yeah. Of Victor Tikhanov for the Coyotes. That's what uh, people like about them. They're well known for being pretty much, I would say, the hardest graders in the industry. Which is a good thing, I guess. Double diamond of Costa Postitsin, sorry, for the Montreal Canadiens. We've got a quad jersey of Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Rookie Gems Triple Diamond of Darren Helm for the Red Wings. Premier Cuts of Shane Doan for the Coyotes. Double Diamond of Patrick Kane for the Chicago Blackhawks. Quad Diamond of Fabian Brunstrom. Oh, that was probably the worst one to get in that one. If I had to guess. Triple Diamond of Ryan Miller for the Buffalo Sabres. We've got... That's nothing. Nope. That's a base pack. Double Diamond of uh, Gagne. Sorry, Gagne for the Flyers. We've got a double diamond ruby, number to 100 of Marty Turco for the Dallas Stars. And a rookie gems, triple diamond of Mark Fistrick for the Dallas Stars. Fistrick. All right. 10, 11. So Wheeler right now, you'd say, is part of the second, second best one? Okay. Petra, Angel, and Voracek. Okay. That's good to know. We've got a double diamond ruby, number to 100, of Pascal Leclerc for the Ottawa Senators. Qua triple diamond of Mike Richards for the Flyers. Qua jersey of David Perron for the Blues. These are probably one of the nicest packs to open, by the way. They open very nicely. We've got another ruby of Ian Laperriere for the Colorado Avalanche. We've got a double diamond of Mike Green and a quad horizontal die cut, Joe Sackick for the Avalanche. Quad diamond, Wayne Gretzky for the LA Kings. Is line A worth it yet? Absolutely. Yeah. Triple rookie gems of Christian Hansen. Line A 100% is well worth it to get graded. Wouldn't even think twice. Double diamond of Franzen for the Red Wings. That's the other thing. As I said, they do hit all their deadlines, right? Exactly what uh, FF just pointed out. Double Diamond of Turco for the Dallas Stars. Yeah, absolutely. All those things take into effect, right? Triple Diamond of Mad Hendricks for the Avalanche. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Well, that's the thing, obviously. Triple Diamond Rookie Gems of Byron uh, Bits. I'll give you guys a good example. If you look up, for example, some of what the Macar M&T cards sold for, 
Drew Stafford quad jersey for the Buffalo Sabres. All the ones that have sold are basically MNT because they got them back faster than everyone else. With SP Authentic coming up, I'm telling you guys, you know how much more money you guys will have in your pocket if you guys can get them done faster? Bobby Ryan double diamond for the Anaheim Ducks and a Ray Bork quad diamond horizontal die cut for the Boston Bruins. Like, legitimately, you guys would make a ton of extra money. Co uh, Colin Wilson, Rookie Gems, Quad Diamond for the Preds. If you can get within one week a hard, uh, like a slab, graded, in your hand, you know, future watch. Holy jeez. Stan Makita, Triple Diamond. And you guys have seen, I'm not saying how fast they drop, but they do go down a bit. Dan LaCosta, Gemography. For the Blue Jackets. So if you got to wait three months versus one and a half weeks, where are you guys going to get more money? Double Diamond of Venable. Looks kind of goldish, but it's not. For the Habs. They grade everything. Yes, sir. Double Diamond of Drury. We actually just sold a, a five and a half, I think, Gretzky rookie. And it got higher than PSA and higher than BBG and SGC. Triple Diamond of Joe Thornton for the Sharks. I don't know what we said to you guys. I don't know what other people are doing if they're selling their cards. But every single time we do uh, a buy now best offer on any M&T card, we get maximum dollars. <laughs> you don't need to just take the first offer or auction things off. And as I said, the Makari Young Guns are the best example. The reason why there's pretty much only MNT ones is because Beckett is so slow and doesn't have any. So people are getting premiums right now for MNT. Why? Why not? Like, so I will be saying that for SPA a million times over. Literally, it'll say it'll make you guys so much more money. Get slapped for the Anaheim Ducks triple diamond. Like no word of a lie, you guys will make a killing on that. If you guys are the first in the market to have graded Future Watch autos. You will do more than fine. Double Diamond of Chara for the Boston Bruins. Quad Diamond Eric Stahl for the Carolina Hurricanes. Rookie Gems Triple Diamond of Cody Allman for the Minnesota Wild. Lebes. Double Diamond of Bergeron for the Boston Bruins. Uh, well, Nino, I also have to say times are tougher now in general. Rick Nash for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Like I have noticed not just on M&T cards. In general, the offers that I've gotten lately have been significantly worse over the last two months than ever before. Triple Diamond of uh, Luke Robitaille. I, I think it's obvious to be if people are saving more money, right? A Ruby Jonathan Quick, number to 100. Like, I'm getting offers on, like, $70 cards for, like, $5. It's hilarious. Double Diamond of Ilya Brizgela for the Coyotes. So, I think that also attributes to some of it. That these times, people are looking for deals on single cards. Rookie Gems, Triple Diamond of Arthur's Kulda for the Winnipeg Jets. What card do you have, Nino? Double Diamond of Drew Doughty for the LA Kings. We've got a Rookie Gems Quad Diamond for the Avalanche. Brandon Yip. Quinn Hughes. Shadow boxes are interesting. I will tell you that. Triple Diamond Ryan Miller. Sadly, as much as they are beautiful cards, there's, like, I don't know. I feel like the demands are crazy on those, but. Double Diamond of Le Cavalier. Well, did you get yours up after those or before or just whenever? Quad Jersey, John Tavares for the Islanders. Because I've seen that happen with me on cards. It's actually really frustrating. Where I'm just, uh, I end up being like the third or fourth one after the other one sold. Jake Muzzin for the LA Kings, Rookie Gems. Huh. Oh, yeah, it'll definitely move.
Quad Diamond Ruby to 100, Bobby. Or what was the grade you got on it, out of curiosity? I know that does affect it for sure. And a double diamond of Dion Phaneuf for the Maple Leafs. All eight. Okay, that's probably the reason why, to be completely honest. And we've got number to 999, Brandon Yip. Brandon Yip. 